Hello and welcome to the third part of this demonstration in the series that we're doing on Windows 10 in the enterprise. So in the very first demonstration, we showed how to create a custom boot image using Windows 10 ADK. So in that demonstration, what we did was we created a custom boot image. We made one, we injected some drivers into it offline, and then we added some extra component into it. So then in the next demonstration, what we did was we created, we created a custom answer file. And what we did with the custom answer file was we used that to uh, automatically deploy a reference image and all that it's, it's in our previous demonstrations. So we'll carry on with that um, in this particular demonstration. So again, this is our setup. We have a, a client machine here called Lone Client One, which is the one that I'm using for um, the administrative tasks I've been doing so far. Then we have Lone Client 5 here, which is basically our reference computer. So Lone Client 5 being our reference computer, it's the one that we deployed our operating system to. So right now I'm on Lone Client 5. And what we'll be doing is we just quickly confirm that um, the settings that we put in our custom unattended file have been applied to this deployment. So this just completed and I'm just logging into it for the first time. So again, if you remember in the last, uh, when we were creating the unattend file, uh, we set a local account. So we created a local account um, in the unattend file. And and the name that we call the account is admin. So that's what you see at the beginning. So what I'll do is I'll pause this process because it might take a while, even though it's saying this won't take long. It will actually take a while. Uh, and then I'll continue the recording once we're fully logged in. Okay, so welcome back. So um, the login just completed. So what we'll do is we just check uh, if the customizations that we put in place, if they've been applied uh, during the deployment. So one of the things that we did was we added the Hyper-V management uh, console. So let's just have a quick look at that and see if that's applied there. So let's go under control panel. And then under the administrative tools. And here we go. Yeah, we can see Hyper-V Manager here uh, installed. So this is not something that's added to the Windows 10 image by default. This is something that was added because we applied a customized answer file and to our deployment. And also, as you can see already, we already we have um, Windows. Uh, we have the local account uh, called admin, which I just logged in with, uh, also applied. So that that looks good. So um, that's really nice. So but in this case, what we've deployed is we've deployed something called the reference image or the reference computer. How I'll be doing with this reference computer is um, what you typically do is you make all the customizations that you want in this um, com on this computer, and then you capture this image. Then you can use this as your base deployment. So you make all, all you make all the base customizations that you need on every computer within your environment, and then capture this and then you can use the image to deploy multiple computers. So um, again, just to reiterate what we've done so far, we've created a custom boot image, we created a custom answer file, we use the custom answer file to deploy a reference computer, which is this computer, then we're going to move to the next step, which would be to capture um, this reference computer, to capture the image on this reference computer. Now here's an interesting one. The custom boot image that we used in the beginning is what we're going to be using to custom to capture uh, this custom uh, this reference computer. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll shut down this machine now, and uh, what will happen is I'll insert the custom boot image that we created earlier, and then. Uh, when it boots up, it's going to boot up into that boot image. Then we can go ahead and do the capture. But uh, actually, before I proceed with that, there's a few things that I need to do before shutting this one down. So I won't just go ahead and capture it now. Um, 
I have to first of all um, sysprep it so which means I remove um, any uh, customizations that could cause issues in the future so things like the um, seed of the computer will be regenerated and a couple of other things um, the host name of the computer stuff like that so sysprep is something that's been around for a while so you typically find that on the, the C drive under Windows under system 32 Windows system 32 just one quick one That's the auto nothing file that we used. And then we go on the sysprep. There we go. And then that's the sysprep there. So what I'll do is I'll just do this uh, via the command line. Run this as an administrator. Copy the path. I think we had it more, so that's good. Now go sysprep.exe forward slash generalize and forward slash on the 10. Again, if you need more information about this, you can just feel free to Google this or just join our hangout where we'll be discussing um, this, the theory side of this in details. So sysprep.exe generalize uh, on a 10. Set that to generalize um, enter out of box experience when it comes up and then the shutdown option we want to shut this down because when next we start this computer hub we'll be starting it not with this operating system that's installed we're we'll starting it with our boot image the custom boot image that we created earlier so i'll click ok to them then sysprep begins to the cleanup process so again what i'll do is i'll pause this recording and then i'll come back after learn client 5 as booted into the custom boot image that we created earlier okay so the sysprep process um just finished and then i've booted and um, learn client 5 um, into and uh, this custom boot image that we created earlier so the first thing i'll do is i'll go back to learn client 1 now and what I'll do is I'll create a new folder called images there and I'll share this folder. And then I'll go ahead and right click on it and go share with specific people. And then click share so i'll just leave it as administrator read and write and that's shared under this um unc part long client one backslash images so if i open that um, make sure i test it out backslash backslash long client one and there is images there so what we'll be doing is this is the location that will be saving the captured image um, of long client 5 so i'll go back to long client 5 now and uh, the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mount the and the folder that we shared i'm going to mount it to um, a drive on this machine so the way i'll do that is i'll say net use 
I'll use the G drive and I'll say backslash backslash lawn client one backslash images and I'll specify the user to use to mount it so that'll be added to backslash administrator I'll enter that it's gonna ask me for the password of the administrator account I'll enter the password and it's completed so if I do dear how G yep so I can see that that's been mounted that exist so the next thing would be um, capturing this um, the image on this computer now typically you know your image um, within your windows environment will be the c drive typically you can you can modify that or change that but in this case booting up with this um boot image we need to find out where that's been mounted to so if i go um And that lists all the current drives for me. You can see I've got the A, the C, the D, the E, the G that we just mapped. And then we have the hex uh, where the boot image is mapped. So if I go, or the boot, the boot image is mounted. So if I go to, um, do I have a, yeah, not ready. So we know it's not there. And do I have C, found, not found found well so we know it's not C so do I have the there we go so we can see these are Windows file systems and that's where it's mapped so that's what we'll be capturing in this case so the command that we'll be using to capture that we'll be using a tool called dism uh, which is um, a component that's in this boot image if I go dism forward slash capture image for slash image file g backslash win 10 dot wim and fox slash capture directory d now save for slash name other term Windows 10. So basically what I'm saying is use this Im to capture this image. And where do I want to save the image? What do I want to save it as? I want to save it the image file as a file called Windows 10.wim in the G drive, which is a drive that we just mounted, which would be this location on long client one. Okay. Um, and then what I've said now is what do I want to capture? So I need to spell that right, otherwise that will fail. So I need to put the P there. Capture DI have, so I want to capture the D directory which is the um, location where the operating system that's installed on this machine is mounted. And then um, the name of the image. So within the image file, we'll have to give the image a name. So we'll call that out on Windows 10. And then I present after 10 after it, present after that. And then this thing kicks off and then the capture should begin. So this is going to take a while, um, depending on how fast the computer that we're doing the capture on is, and also depending on how fast the pipe between um, LUN client 5 and LUN client 1 is, the network pipe, I mean. And actually, we can see if this is already happening by going to the shared folder on LUN client 1. Yeah, here we go. You can see win10.wim is already been created, and it's already starting the capture. 
and then um, at the end of this we'll have a custom boot image that we've created so in the next demonstration what we're going to be doing is we'll introduce another system into um, our diagram so the system that we'll introduce is a system called long client 6 And what will happen is Lon Client 6 would be the machine that will deploy the image that we just captured will have to deploy it to this machine. But um, in this situation, this particular deployment won't be using, um, you know, because it's not an ISO file, we won't be making using MakeWinP Media to create an ISO from this. But the tool that we'll be using will be introducing another tool called MDT. And this will be the tool that we'll use to deploy our custom image, custom install image to Lone Client 6. And that's what we'll be doing um, in the next demonstration. So thanks very much for staying tuned and watching this. And I'll see you in the next demo. Um, don't forget that in this whole series, we'll be discussing some really cool features of Windows 10 in the enterprise. We'll be demoing things like um, Microsoft Intune. We'll be demoing uh, things like uh, domain join um, and lots of features, Azure AD, um, and I'm sure you find that useful. Thanks very much again. Bye for now.